give it up for the Cockney Sparrow, who's bringing the East End to the West End in Made in Dagenham. Give it up for the brilliant Gemma Rattertan! <laughs> Get you a drink, love. Oh, you're tempting me now, but I, I don't drink at the moment, Alan. I've got to look after my voice. Because <laughs> you're in a musical. Yeah. Made in Dagenham. Yes, right. Will and it I... really damage your instrument? Well, I, I've heard, yeah. I mean, I can have the odd one on a Saturday night. But you can't go crazy. I can't go crazy. Because I sing better when I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, someone commented once on my Ness and Dormer in a toilet. Honestly, because I was like, oh, Ness and Dormer. <laughs> I think it was spot on. Um, <laughs> so, let, let me get you like a, do you want like a Diet Coke? Do you know what I'd love if you've got it? A ginger, ginger beer. Gin. Oh, look, a, is that a huge... No, that's a bit of lemon. Bit of lemon. Oh, go on, that'll be all right. Are you sure? Yeah, that'll be... Ginger beer. Oh, let me get your ginger that's beer. That's it, my mother's coming. I know, I know. There you that's go. That's it, perfect. <laughs> usually, usually, I'd put a little bit of vodka in there, but... Um, yeah, you're not. You're being professional, being a good Gemma, girl. and I respect you for that. Cheers. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Now, how do you keep your voice in shape? Is there, like, vocal exercises you need to do? Yeah, you have to... <laughs> I now I've developed a tick, which is I wake up in the morning and go <laughs> just to see if I can sing. And I do it all day long and people What's know. That? <laughs> but this one's a good one. How do you make that noise? You have to sort of Sounds... <laughs> do that. You can do it, come on. Yeah, look, you can do it. <laughs> There's a load of stray dogs just turned up at the back door. <laughs> Daddy? <laughs> yeah. And then you bu buzz your lips while you're doing it. <laughs> it's uncanny, it really is. <laughs> so what the hell does that do, though? It, it lifts your larynx up. All right. And it warms up the top part of your register. Oh, my God. There you go. Now, I went to see you in Made in Dagenham, yeah, and it genuinely was brilliant. I loved it. Thank you. I really did. And you do, you sing all the way through. And you act, you're never really off the stage, are you, to be honest? No. But I have got a bone to pick with you. Oh. You gave me nearly a bloody heart attack. <laughs> I'm there sitting there. All of a sudden, I hear this shouting behind me, equal pay for women. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh, my God, here we go. Some militant nut job is about to storm. <laughs> <laughs> But it was you. It was me. What was you doing there? Was you just checking I turned up? <laughs> Do you know, I, I have to say, Alan, I didn't even know you were in, but you just happened to be in, were you in front of me, behind yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I was like, there, and... there you go, pie. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was there, I was tugging on you, just going, Gemma, you want to take man? All right. Oh, hi, Gemma. No, no, I didn't know. <laughs> I'd love it if somebody did that. Now I've asked for it, people are going to do it. But I see people look around, they get all excited when you're in the audience because I go into the audience at the show. <laughs> you do that, don't <laughs> well, you? Well, people yeah. know, and, and now people know that I stop at a certain place, so you get like the weird ones sitting oh, in right, those Gemma. seats. <laughs> yeah. Is it a certain older man? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever think of carrying some mace? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Great made in Dagenham, <laughs> back off! <laughs> <laughs> you should do that. Should, shouldn't I? I've got a handbag all the time, so I can hide it. Yeah, pop a taser in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Gemma. <laughs> <laughs> Tell the people at home, what, what's the show about for anyone who's missed it, who didn't see the film? It's about... It's, a, it's based on a true story about the women of full Dagenham who went on strike in 1968 and they won equal, they got the Equal Pay Act started. And I play Rita, who's a fictional character, but she is a working mum that sort of leads the strike. Now, is it true you went to Parliament to campaign for equal rights for women? I did. I went to Parliament. I was invited, um, along with some of the original ladies from Dagenham that went on strike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
because there was an, an act that was passed. Um, um, and so it was amazing, actually. I mean, for me, I, I felt a bit like, you know, they were the legends and I was tagging along with them. Um, but it was amazing. I've always wanted to go to Parliament and it was great to... to and we got the, uh, the act part. The act was passed. Oh, wonderful. What, what was the thing? How many defeat for and it, against? It was unanimous. I think it, I might be wrong here. It was something like 258 four and yeah. and like eight against or something like eight that. people still in this day and age said they don't want women to be that's worrying isn't it even just for eight people yeah i mean it's the 90s isn't it get with it <laughs> <laughs> what was it like in parliament it was cold Oh. Yeah, I, it's hu it's it's much it's very cavernous, you know the the, the great hall and everything. it's so old obviously, so it's all stone and yeah. wood. It's quite cold. They should sort the heating out. But no, <laughs> it was great. I wish I could have sort of explored a little bit further yeah. and sort of gone off track and nosed around a bit. But it's beautiful inside. So why did you sign up for it then? Because you're like this film star, then you're doing like this musical. Why? Was it the story? Was it the character? Yeah, what? it was the story and. I've I did always want to do a musical. I wanted to do something that nobody else had done before better than me. So I. <laughs> oh, all the about fact you. that it was Lovely. a new musical. <laughs> yeah, all about it. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, but it is the story that I love the most. Yeah. And um, it's, I was quite scared. I mean, singing in front of a massive audience when you're not a singer really is quite a. Oh, scary thing to do, but I love it. It's great And it's fun. proper singing. It ain't like Les Mears when they just talk like that. And I will <laughs> drink my ginger beer. Yeah, you oh. know. Yes. Yes, I like your shoes. Thank you. <laughs> that was lovely. <laughs> You also sang opera when you were younger, didn't you? Yeah, I have sung. I, I, when I trained as a... Well, I trained when I was at drama school. I trained as a singer, but it was more classical. So then I ended up doing a bit of opera, and I've sung opera styles before in other shows. But actually... How can you sing opera? Don't you have to be, like, morbidly obese to sing opera? <laughs> now, don't you? You never see a skinny opera singer, do you? Yeah, it, it, yeah, it's true. Yeah. <laughs> You don't. I've never seen a skinny one. Maybe just if, if you want to be if you want to be fat and you want people to accept it, just be an opera singer. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, that's what I'm. Then you can say, hey, look, don't tell me to lose weight. I'm an opera singer. Hello, I'm obese. I found a bit of pizza under my tit. Leave me alone. <laughs> Now, how do you keep your hand in with the singing? Are you one of those ones that, oh, I'm so shy, and then when the karaoke comes out, Ace of Spades! Ace of Spades! <laughs> yeah. I'm known for it. Yeah. I love yeah. karaoke. What's your favourite song? I do like singing a bit of Total Eclipse of the Heart. I know it's a bit cheesy, but you've got to, because yeah. it's got a few key, key changes and you can rock out. Yeah, that's and good, And you can yeah. be sentimental and mean it and act it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's take a look at a clip. <laughs> It's nice to hear a Cockney accent on stage because it's like an endangered species. You don't hear it anymore, I do know, you? It's don't dying hear out. Cockney, do you? It's dying out. Yeah. It's a shame because I think it's such a great accent and it's got so much history. I love all the Cockney rhyming slang and everything. Even my accent, it used to be like your accent. <laughs> <laughs> you used to sound like me. Yeah, you sound like you, darling. <laughs> Back in the day, before I was trained, I used to, yeah. And they knocked it out. Well, like probably like apples and pears. Go blimey. Oh, yeah. Get up those apples and pears. Hey, yeah. yeah. Oh. Have you ever heard get a pig's ear out of the tower? No. What's that? <laughs> what, what? Get a pig's ear out the what? Get a pig's ear out the tower. What's that? Get a pig's ear. Yeah. Beer out the tower bridge. Bridge. Uh, oh, <laughs> did you know this? No. <laughs> this is very. You know, you have to go yeah. deep into the Cockney rhyme and slang to know that stuff. Yeah. But my dad, my dad speaks in Cockney rhyme and slang every now and again. Yeah. Actually, I go home and I, and I go, I go proper like. <laughs> yeah. Oh shut up! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get some water. Because <laughs> my mum's like that when she meets up. Because my mum's a Cockney when she meets up with all her family at Christmas. Oh my God! It's like birds yeah. of a feather. <laughs> shut up, you can. <laughs> <laughs> A bit more cockney having a cockney off. I love that. Cow, cow in cockney is the yeah. best word to say. You care. Uh, yeah, it, it you care. It lasts forever, do it? Care. You go out the room, you come back, they're still going, care. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to 
get it into the show? We don't, I don't say care. care. I say nah. Yeah, nah. Not yeah. care. Eel. You know, when you're not doing a matinee, yeah. what do you do all day? Because you're not working till half seven. Oh, I what get. Do you do? I do stuff. No, I've, I've, um, I've got my own little production company, so I'm doing meetings for that, read scripts, go for a walk, do a bit of Pilates, oh. see friends, sleep often. This show is. The thing is, as you're saying that, you're fluctuating between. If you know it's between Cockney and Posh. Go <laughs> for a walk. Pilates, meet a friend. <laughs> it's just fun. It's, it's, that's what it's like. That's my life. That's my. That you're like is a my Cockney action. trapped in a posh woman's body. Yeah. <laughs> help, help, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good luck with it, because it's bloody brilliant. Absolutely love it. You've got to go and see Made in Dagenham. It's fantastic. Give it up for Gemma Arden, everyone! <laughs>